I was born in Tibet. So my family all the time supper, lunch we have together. together. Then sometimes the parents ask, what do you want in the future? Then I was a very, very ambitious person when I was young. They said, in the world, who is the best person? I asked my father and mother. Then father said, oh, in the world, the best person is Buddha. Then I said, okay, I want to Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> when I was maybe your age, my homeland, homeland get farming. And farming means people didn't have enough food during the summer. Then people eat some the vegetables without oil, protein food. Then some just body swollen. Like still here marks these things. You see it's a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. My father really believed in Dalai Lama or Buddhism. And then he always said, oh, people Chinese occupation. We have good life, plenty of food, we have Buddhism. So when I was young, I didn't see any Buddhism texts or books because when during the Chinese Cultural Revolution, they burned everything. Then I grew up in Tibet. I went to local school. In local school, I learned reading, writing. That's it. That's it. I finished for three years. And then when I was 14, 15, 16 years old, I was a shepherd. I lived in Tibet until 19 years old. I had a good opportunity to escape to India. And then I became a monk immediately. My journey is really horrible. When, when I escaped from my homeland, I walked through mountain, mountain, mountain. Then one day we get the lorry, 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 tuck, in the tuck, in Chinese tuck. They didn't know us. We are escaping on the city. Then one tuck, I said, Paul road, many people killed. And that's really, really sad. And then sometimes the young Tibetan people, they escaped to Rusino. And then our lunch, snowfall, snow falling, then people buried by snow. And then sometimes young children, they lost eyesight. Sometimes they lost frozen leg, feet, cut. They lost the hair around. So when I hear this, I'm scared, I'm very sad. <laughs>